What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 here in the spring season of series number 7. Driving around in our 1969 Toyota 2000 GT that we unlocked in the last video. And if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. But today we're going to be jumping in and continuing on with the seasonal championships in the weekly festival playlist. So let's go ahead and take a look and see which ones we've still got. So we've got Baja Mill and First Come First Serve. So um, neither of these have super great rewards. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and knock out Baja Mill um, for the festival sombrero clothing. Um, and our class restriction is D. 500 and we have to use a buggy so i've got two of them set up um and we'll jump into this and go see what our races look like all right let's see we've got at least one circuit race one circuit and two sprint we'll take it all right starting here with the ha ha horizon baja scramble and we're in the 1970 volkswagen uh, number 1107 Desert Dingo Racing Stock Bug. So, up on the screen now will be the share code for the tune, the tuner's name, and name of the tune. If you want to check it out, and we'll see how this thing can do. So, I'll give you the name of the tune and name of the tuner just in case the share code changes, because it can do that if the tuner does go in and change any part of the tune, whether it be something as simple as the tire pressure or anything i do believe it does change the share code so if you can't find it definitely search from the namer the name of the tune and name of the tuner and if you do find the tune definitely get that new share code and put it down in the comments below just to help out your fellow racers so that's what we're here to do is help out each other and kind of make a repository of useful information so Running a little slow, not gonna lie. Let's see if we can't catch up. We have three laps. I'm hoping that we can. I don't think that we'll have an issue catching up, but we are cracking a little slow here on this tune. So, barely got that. It may just be for these turns that we make our moves. That would be a great turn. Cut back. And back on the inside. Wheel to wheel there. Turned into it. Okay. Kind of hit us. Didn't like our race in there, so. Alright, one lap down. We're up in the fourth. Got the uh, Baja Bug Volkswagens in front of us. That's actually the other car that we're using, so. Those may be better options. Maybe. Or maybe the driving pleasure just better drivers. We'll find out. Tonight at seven. All right, up into the third. Um, the important thing about these championships is you do not have to come in first place in all three of these races. Um, it's just based on points, so you get points based off of where you finish. So you don't want to come like last, um, but you don't have to be in first place for all of the races. So as long as we get third here, I think we'll be fine. Obviously, we want to get in front. And second, I think we'll be able to chip away at that on this last lap, get up first. But um, another thing is, you don't have to use different vehicles as you'll see me do today. Um, you can use one vehicle for all three races. Oh, almost flipped there. Um, we did get the first, now we're just going to fight this. But yeah, you can use one car. Um, for all three of the races, you don't have to swap out like I'm going to. So make sure you're aware of that, and I'll let you know which one feels better to me. And just because these tunes and cars work out for me, um, there's kind of other factors that you know see to determine if they'll work out for you as well. Driving style might be a little different. Um, you may get luck of the draw on Dravatars being kind of crazy. So um, if that's the case, I do. You know, it does suck. I don't know what, what what you can really do for that other than just try to do it again, but 
Um, sometimes grub tars are a little crazy. That's just the way they are. They are insanely hard to beat. So, um, it's just the way it is, unfortunately. Hopefully they can kind of do something about that at some point, but the way the game is right now. But we are up in first, and since we are, I guess we're on, we're on the last lap, we're on the race. Usually I try to skip the end of the race um, after we've completed at least a lap, and we get up in first, but we're not too far off. We'll take this time to let you guys know that we do have a club in Forza Horizon 5, though. Um, you can get to it by going over to online in the clubs, and then if you just go to search clubs and look for the Bomb Gaming Club, um, should pull you up. It is free to um, free to join, as far as you don't need an invitation or anything. So definitely check that out. Down below in the description, there's a link to the Bomb Gaming Discord server as well. Um, there's a lot of different things in there. I do post all the sheer codes and tunes and cars that I use for the festival events in there. And there are other channels in there for looking for people to play, whether it be for, you know, help on the trial, help on the playground games, or just, you know, people to play. Um, you know, just casually play. Um, definitely a good place to connect. So definitely check that out as well. But there's first place on the Baja Scramble. And as you can see, we got 20 points on the championship for coming in first. So again, you don't have to come in first on the races. If I hit continue, this is the championship leaderboard and this is where you need to be in first place at the end of the three races. So we've got 20 points going into race number two. So we're gonna jump into our next vehicle, which is that uh, Baja, Volkswagen Baja Bug. And we'll try out that and see if we can't continue our streak of winning. All right, here we go with the Baja California trial, trail, not trial. And we got a dust storm settling in. And as we said, this is the 1969 Volkswagen Class 5 1500 Baja Bug. So up on the screen now, you'll see the share code for the tune, name of the tune, name of the tuner. So as always, search it from the tune or share code. Can't pull it up there. Should be able to find it from the name of the tune and the name of the tuner. So let's see what this thing can do. It already feels faster, but we are driving on the road as well. So let's see how it handles through the dirt portions here. This is actually the race that we'll do for one of the weekly Forzathon challenges. Myers um, Tank as well. So a little bit of a preview on that, I guess. So we are feeling much faster again. We're more on sand than we were in the last race, or dirt, mud, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that could be attributing to why we were a little bit slower in the other vehicle as well, but this thing is definitely... If you've got this, I would use this. If you got the other one, I'd use the other one. I don't have any issues with either. Um, or, uh, I shouldn't say Probably aren't going to have any different of an issue with either. Um, but if you don't have either, this is probably the one to go for. I'm assuming a lot of people will have this because I've got like three or so in my garage just from winning championships and wheel spins and stuff like that. So it's not like it's a rare car. I don't think it's a very expensive car if you need to buy it. Always check the auction house first, of course, but I think you can get it from the auto show. Could be mistaken in that, but I'm pretty certain you can. Uh, but yeah, this tune feels really good on it. Um, they're obviously right behind us we have had the greatest driving but tune feels great car feels great pretty good off the road so if you don't have either this is the, the choice i would go if you've got both this is the route i would go if you only have that other car the stock bug um uh, the Pinko dirt racing stock bug that's the one that you've got it it's not worth spending extra money Especially since this doesn't get you like a car or anything, this just gets you the yes the fixed sombrero. So it's not like you're getting a super great reward. More so a lot of people just do these events for the season progression to get you know the season reward cards. So they were right on our butt. Gotta make sure they stay back there. Block off their lines, bend a little bit.
across the line we go. So another first place finish here for us. And as you can see, we got 20 more points for coming in first and continuing on to the championship leaderboard. We're up to 40 in total. We're eight points ahead of second place going into the last race. So um, I don't actually have another buggy set up. I'm just going to use this buggy, the class five bug, Baja bug again, um, because it worked out better um, in that last race. So we'll jump over there. All right, here we go with the Desierto Trail. And again, we're staying in that Baja Bug. Let's see if we can pull out another victory here just to end out the championship. I don't think we'll have any issues with it. And on the inside, To fifth place currently. And this thing moves on the on the uh, asphalt for sure. And this race the driver car is going to do a little bit of a dive there. These driver cars you can't. You sometimes have to drive dirty against them. That's just the way it is. Um, and it will make your life a little bit easier if you do drive dirty against the driver cars. So again, against the driver cars. That's not saying, hey, go drive dirty against other players. And I'd be very cautious about driving, you know, diving into corners in trial events. Uh, just because you have the chance of, you know, causing issues for other players that are actually on your team, too. You know, even worse. But anytime you're doing these seasonal championships, the driving cars are free target, in my opinion. So make your life a little bit easier. Do what you gotta do, right? So. Up into first though, looking good. About 45-ish percent way through on this beautiful day in Mexico. We're looking good. This buggy is really good. I'm so, like, this is like pretty quick for it being C class, D class even. Not even C class. So. Feels pretty good. I do like racing in lower tier tiered uh, vehicles. I think it's more fun. Uh, online I like I mean C or S S2 is you know fun and dandy because it's fast but to me it's like uncontrollable at, at times especially if you don't have a good car set up but um, the lower classes I think like A class is like the perfect racing for everything I think A class is good for street road uh, dirt and cross country um, I think it's like the perfect class for doing any kind of like I want to call it serious racing but um, like really competitive racing that's just me S1 is pretty is okay on asphalt I don't prefer to do any S1 racing like anywhere else especially cross country I think it's too fast for cross country in my opinion but that's just me let me know what you guys think below. What's your favorite class to race in in Horizon 5? But that'll get us across the line. A little bit of style. Another first place finish there. And that'll bring to a close the championship with 60 points. And it will get us that Fiesta or Festival Sombrero. That puts us back here at the main festival. It was fun. So, um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful. If you did either, definitely leave a like on the video. Definitely get subscribed for future Forza Horizon 5 content just like this. I'll have the rest of the festival playlist videos going out throughout the day today. So, um, definitely get subscribed if you want to stay tuned for those. But, other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And we will catch you in the next video.